This is a typical JTrader screen. Uh, what I've done is I've loaded a couple of mini S&P to the hot quote screen. And how you do that is just by clicking on the add button and adding the contract you'd like to see in the hot quote screen and populate it that way just by double clicking. Now I've added those two. You can add as many as you'd like for, for the hot quotes and then you will get your live prices going forward. Now once you have these populated, you just highlight the contract you'd like to see in a reflector. Now we're 1309 bid at 1310. To place an order in the depth uh, market, just click next to the contract, fill in your lot, and click next to the contract. You'll get a confirmation, and your order is now working, as you can hear by the bell. With these orders, you, you'll see that it's highlighted with yellow, so you'll, you can see your working orders very quickly. And then also, you're able to see in your order book over here under status, your working order, your working three, F meaning filled, working meaning three. So if you get partial fills, uh, you would have filled one, working two, for example. Another way to enter an order from the hot quote screen would be to click on the trade button, and that will open up a trade ticket. The contract that's populated will be populated into the trade ticket, so there's no need to fill in all these. They've already been filled in. You could change your lots to whatever you'd like, either by using this toggle up and down or using the lots keypad here, and it adds by clicking on the numbers. If I want to set back to zero and put in a five, I can do that very quickly. If I want to trade, change the price, I just would change it that way, and then click on buy, get my new order, click on yes, and now I'm working that order as well. Uh, the other tabs of JTrader are the spread matrix. You can show the spreads. Again, your status is your working and then your filled orders. Your position screen will show the position of, of your account, uh, where you are, long, short, PL, and open PL. You can do a report of your fills uh, the last five business days, which would be in this drop down. The accounts that are associated with your user. And we have an option screen for just to segregate out just options and a strategy screen for the strategies. Thank you.